Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea. Uh, I do videos here all about lifestyle and dance and fashion. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do daily transfers inside of my home. Uh, I have one transfer that is from car to chair, but I wanted to show you guys, because it's very highly requested, you guys are asking for this, how I do very basic transfers day to day. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first transfer we're doing is a chair to couch, couch to chair. Now, my couch is really low, so I don't think a lot of couches are this low. But usually what I do is I bring it to an angle. Of course, lock my brakes. Some of you might call me a rookie and do it without brakes, but this is how I do it. So what I do is I scoot, so I lift with my arms. I'm scooting my uh, butt to the front of my seat, and I bring one leg down the other leg down, and then I usually grab either the frame of the chair or I grab here, usually the frame, because then I can get more of a pivot, and then I put one hand on where I'm transferring, and I put I put my, fa my face forward, if, I can, if I'm saying that right, my, uh, yeah, my head forward, and then I go one, two, three, and then I just shift. And then usually my feet just kind of go where they're supposed to, and that's how I transfer. Hi, monkey! Hello! And then, to get back to my chair, obviously like this is a little bit further up, so I'm going to scoot back to the edge of the couch, and my couch is very fluffy. Bless you! My couch is very fluffy. So then I have to pivot my feet to make sure that, you know, if they're like this, and then I transfer on, um, it doesn't, my ankles don't twist weird. So I always move my feet to where they're supposed to be, and then I pull this closer. Whenever I transfer up, I'm always like almost pulling my hand, my right hand, down. I transfer with my right side usually, it's like my dominant side, but I pull um, in and down. So um, having my chair resting up against the couch really helps. So I'm just gonna get like, you know, as close as I can, and then I'm gonna put my head down and I'm gonna push up my arms. So I'm gonna go up and push. Definitely takes some practice, but it's definitely, definitely doable and gets easier as we go on. So, next one. All right, so our next transfer is a chair to floor, floor to chair. Celebrate is coming back to hang out with us. But what I usually do is, if it is an option, being able to rest your chair up against something will help when you're getting back in or you're getting down. It doesn't like slide away from you. Um, bless you. So, um, what I do is, this one is always, has always been like a really hard one, I think, for everyone. So, of course, I get to the edge of my chair, and now this is how I do it. I kind of just slide down and hope for the best. A lot of you guys might just get down differently, but I'm just showing how I do it. So, I obviously put both legs out, and I just kind of slide. So, this is, you just grab onto the frame, and just kind of slide, and then I just kind of, Whoop, whoop, like that. <laughs> Hi, Mookie! And then I get to play with Stella Bear. She gets excited when I get on the ground. Hi! Hi! So, that's how I get down. And for those of you, um, you know, that are wanting to try this out, obviously I would do this with someone at home, you know, someone like an able body or a friend, um, just to like make sure everything's good, but I always go super, super slow, and I have to kind of overcompensate for the weight going in the front. I have to kind of lean far back, or else my chair will go like that. I gotta get back up now. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I get from the floor to the chair. Now, this was a very hard one for me to really um, kind of like grasp. When I was in the hospital, um, the nurses showed me how they did it. And I was like, y'all are using your legs and you don't realize it. So, never thought it was actually important to learn, but I do feel like it is important. I have been in scenarios where um, I've fallen out of my chair and I've been alone and I had to figure out how to get back up. Now, if I fell here, you know, at any point, I would obviously use the couch to get here. I would kind of probably push up like that if I could, or I would kind of get onto my hands and knees, get here, pull myself up, struggle to get to here. But I wanna show you guys how I'm getting from the floor to the chair if I didn't have a couch around me. Okay, let's do it. Okay, 
A lot of you guys are gonna say to do it like this, probably, because which I don't know how y'all do this. I can't, like, I don't know how you guys do that. Because I've had people literally say, do like a dip this way. Y'all are crazy. I don't have that time. That, my muscles haven't built that way yet. Okay, so what I do, this might be a little bit more difficult for people, but it works for me, is I always figure out what side is my dominant side. So I have to, you need to move. You need to move. Just scoot your booty. Just scoot your booty. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I put one leg over. Let me see, am I going this way? This way, yeah. We'll go this way. So I'm gonna go onto my left side. Or you can go onto your right side. So I put my left over my right leg and I grab my frame and I push up with my right hand and I kind of, I'm gonna balance on my knees. And then I put my chest on my chair and I kind of get a little bit closer and then my hand is back here. So then I'm just gonna push up. So I'm balancing on my knees and then I'm gonna push up like this and then I'm gonna twist. So now I'm on my side guard, not on it, but just resting. And then I, okay, and then I just have to twist. Hold on, we got this. And then I lean back, there we go, there we go. Whew. It's hard to do it in top. But basically what I did was I leaned over this way so I could get my, so I could balance on my right hand to then twist, to then push up this way. If I was facing you guys front and I was facing this way, I was getting up this way with my legs down, I had to balance more on this side of my chair in order to let go of my left hand to reach around to then come up like this. So, and then of course I put my legs on my chair, but yeah, that's how I get from my chair to the floor or floor to chair without like a couch or anything around me. Next one. All right, so the next transfer that I'm gonna be doing is a chair to bar stool, bar stool to chair. Um, now this bar stool is a little bit lower than normal ones, so if I was going to like a bar or something, I would probably have like Jay lift me up and help me get up there. So what I'm gonna do is I move it out and obviously lock my brakes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push up on the bar stool or I go like this. You, it depends on like how I'm feeling. Usually I push up on this. So I think I'll just go on here that way. There you go. And then I just move my feet over. And then I scoop back. And then I just move the chair like that. And the chair sits next to me. So that's how I get up. And I love any chance I get to get out of my chair. Feels like amazing. I also have very cushiony chairs around my house. I'm actually getting rid of these ones. Um, but I love, that's like one thing that I was really drawn to about bar stool, like the chairs that I have in my house. It's, everything is very cushiony. So I didn't have to worry about any pressure sores. So now to get out, I just maneuver my chair this way. So what I learned in rehab is you want the um, cushion to be as close to your butt as possible. So obviously this would be terrifying because you gotta jump over that, your legs gotta get over it, you got, like it's a whole ordeal. So being able to have the cushion as close to your butt first off is really important. So I put my feet down first because um, I feel like if I don't then they'll get stuck up here. So I always move my feet first. And then I'm gonna push off of the counter. And then I'm just gonna maneuver my way down. And then, again, then I'm in. And the next one we're going to be doing is a chair to bed, bed to chair. Now I get a lot of things like, oh, do you sleep in your chair? How do you sleep? How do you do this? Now, I don't sleep in my chair. And I'm gonna show you guys how I get out of my chair. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I, of course, bring, I usually transfer in to the right, but because of where we are, I'm gonna show you guys how I transfer to the left. So being able to put my chair kind of at a diagonal, of course, lock my brakes. I can do it without my brakes locked, but I wanna make sure I show it with brakes locked. Um, safety first. 
So of course, scoot to the edge. Um, what I do is I kind of move my feet. I don't know if you guys can see this. So what I do with this is, you know, this is I think always the part where we have to be careful of our ankles. Um, so I get my my feet to like the edge of my foot plate or even the, not really the floor because um, I feel like if my feet go to the floor, I'm kind of short. So it will like pull me down when I transfer. I'll just kind of like slip. So I put my, um, my ankles a little bit further out. And of course I push, I'm gonna push down like this. So push down and shift and my head stays forward like this just to kind of compensate for, you know, um, shifting my butt over. I have rods in my back, so. And then I just bring one leg over and then the other leg over and then, yeah, that's how I get onto the bed. Um, usually, obviously, I sleep underneath the covers like every other normal person. Next, we are going to transfer it back in. So with this one, because I don't really care about my feet being on the foot plate, I'm going to put my feet just uh, next to my chair so they don't need to be on the foot plate. Um, and then I'm gonna scoot to the edge and then I gotta make sure that because my right one could get caught underneath my foot plate, I gotta make sure I bring my leg a little bit further out instead of it might slip underneath and because I'm paralyzed, I can't feel where my legs are. I don't want it to like twist weird. So I grab my, um, my frame of my chair because I need room to get my butt um, in front of the side guards instead of on top of the side guards. If I grab the wheel, um, sometimes I grab the wheel, but I just have to like swing differently. I have to swing like under and then back instead of just like back, if that makes sense. If you're paralyzed, I think you'll understand what I'm saying. So I'm just gonna grab here and I'm just going to twist. Okay, I hope that helps you guys so you can actually sleep in a bed. <laughs> All right, so the next one that we're going to be doing is I'm gonna show you guys how I transfer to the toilet and then how I transfer to the shower. All right, so how I transfer to the toilet. So of course, locking the brakes. You don't have to lock the brakes, but safety first. So I push obviously to the edge of my chair and then I'm going to put one leg down here um, and then I'm going to grab the toilet seat cover and just shift over and pull myself back because it's a tight space, I don't know, there's a habit, I always put like one leg up because it's a tight space here. Got to do the business. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring one leg down. I kind of shift over onto the side of the toilet, not for very long, nobody wants pressure sore. And then I'm going to push up and twist over. So I'm gonna go up and twist over, yeah? And then make sure you guys flush the toilet and then you put your legs back on. So next, I'm gonna show you guys how I transfer onto the shower bench. There's a little bit of a lip, so it's a little bit of a maneuver on. So let's uh, show you how I do that. All right, so this one is a little bit of a tough one. When my dad built the shower, he was like, you know, there's gonna be a lip here. So I was like, that's fine. Like practice makes me stronger. Um, so there is like a, maybe like a four inch lip that I have to jump over every time I shower. Now, I showered this morning, so my shower bench is a little wet. There's, there's a rip in it, so I might get a little wet. But what I usually do is, um, you know, obviously, like, the chair is facing that way, so I'm going to go in to this transfer already facing this way. Now, this is a very awkward angle to, like, show this transfer, but it is what it is. So I usually put one leg in. If I put both legs in, I feel like when I transfer, all my weight would kind of go forward, and that's just that's just me. So I put one leg in, and then I kind of maneuver my left leg where um, you know it won't get tangled or anything. So I put one leg in, and then I'm going to kind of make sure that my leg doesn't really like slip. And I'm going to grab here. I'm gonna grab behind me, okay? So I'm gonna grab behind me, and I'm gonna kind of lean this way, and I go one, two, three, and I go up. Yeah, now my foot is totally fine. It just kind of shifted a little bit, but then I just get in this way. And then what I do every day is I unlock this brake and then I pivot my chair away. I'm holding onto this glass, holding onto this chair. So I have, cause I have really bad balance. And then I'm going to reach for this and I'm going to shut the door. 
Then I do my business, a shower, 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 yeah. And then usually I have a towel here. Let me open this. Usually I have a towel um, up against this, so then I'll dry off in here. And then that way when I transfer, I'm not like really slippery. So say I'm dried, okay? I open this door, grab my chair. See, I'm having weight on here and here. And I pivot it back around, lock my brake. I put my, ah, what? Okay, so if I was really showering right now, when once I move my chair here, I'm gonna put my towel over my chair. So then I transfer, Nikki, okay? Nikki. So, here's how I would transfer if I was Nikki. So, transfer to the edge of the seat. I move over both of my feet because I'm slippery at this point. I'm gonna move my chair back a little bit, but I'm gonna grab onto my frame, and this one is always tricky, okay? So I'm gonna grab my frame and grab here behind me, and I'm gonna shift over. So, big jump, but I've done it for the last five years um, and it's, it's pretty easy. So yeah, and then I just grab the towel and I fold it over me and I dry off more and I kind of fold it in and that's how I shower. All right guys, so this is a transfer that I don't do very often. This is a chair to tub transfer. Over the last few years of me being paralyzed, I've realized that a lot of people shower differently. A lot of people, paraplegics, very low level injuries, prefer to transfer down into a tub to shower and then get back into their chair. The only reason that I have ever had to learn how to get from the chair to the tub is whenever I have been at a hotel and they don't have a shower bench um, or their shower benches have been you know, used up. So I have had to use a shower. Granted, obviously the pull down showers aren't, you know, in all of the hotels. So this is how I transfer to a tub. Now the tub that I picked out for this shower obviously is one a little bit thicker around here. And then I have this little lip over here, but I will transfer it from my chair to this lip here. And then I will lean over and kind of bring myself down. Also, please be careful of pressure sores. You don't want to sit too long on the bottom of a tub. So what I would usually do is once I get down, take off my seat cushion, take off the cover, sit it down there and sit on top of that just to be extra safe. Can't ever be too safe, right? So I put my feet in first. Now, now that now my body is being pulled to the left. So I'm going to sit on to here, yeah. So, gotta make sure I'm not sitting on anything. Then my legs are starting to move, but I'm gonna, you know, leaning on this really helps have some sort of security. I'm gonna lean over onto here, and then here, and then I'm just going to kind of slowly, maybe I'll leave, yeah. Behind is best, because then you can go here, and then drop down here. And that's how I would shower. So remember, take your seat cushion off, sit on that. It'd probably be really nice to shower in here and like do like a tub and like a bath. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> so next I'm gonna show you guys how I get from here to here to here, okay? Remember, this really helps. If it was thinner, it would give you credit card, yeah, and it would probably really bad for your tailbone cause something and then it's all downhill from there. So you want, if you're building a house in your wheelchair, make sure this is nice and thick, yeah? Nobody likes a credit card. <laughs> okay, so what I usually do is I usually try and do a little crisscross applesauce with my legs. We'll see, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Legs have a mind of their own when you can't feel them or move them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a dip and I'm gonna push straight up. This is where working out really comes in handy. So I'm gonna full on do a dip up, okay? So I'm gonna do a dip up and I'm gonna try and get my butt up here. So when my uh, left shoulder is not as strong, so I'm gonna lean on my right, up, and then I'm gonna push over, okay? And then obviously I didn't land where I wanted to, so, <gasps> there we go. So now I'm going to push myself back onto my chair. Yeah, so I'm here, make sure I'm not on the, uh, curtain. So here is where you could do two options. You could leave your feet in 
and just kind of pull yourself back or you can put one leg over the other leg over and then transfer that way. I like to do that because it's safer for me. Okay, one over, the other one over. And now obviously the chair is at a like really weird thing. So I'm gonna move over a little bit. Whoop. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna position my hand like so. I'm just gonna go one, two, three, and up. Okay, all right, so now that we did this, the last one that I wanna show you the most I think the most important transfer is for independence getting into the car. So I'm gonna show you guys how I get into my SUV. I have a higher up car, so it's kind of a little bit different than transferring from um, the same level. So let's go check out the chair to car transfer. All right guys, so we are going to get into the car today. So what I usually do to open it, pull this way, just like that. And I usually keep my um, wheel up against the car. So I'm going to face, my back is going to be towards you guys, but I'm still explaining what I'm doing. So I roll in this way, transfer to the edge of my seat. I put both legs in. Some people don't. Some people will put one leg in. I put both legs in. So I grab the steering wheel because obviously it's an SUV. It's a little bit higher up. So I grab the steering wheel. And then I kind of like, I put my left hand behind and I'm gonna push up with my left and pull in with my right. So push up with my left and then pull in with my right. And that's how I get in. So I'm kind of like extending this arm and pulling in with this arm. So I have a whole tutorial on how I get my chair in the car and I will link that also below. It's a little bit of an older video. Um, so now how I get out of the car, so I pull, get to the edge of the chair and then I just lean down okay and then I kind of just do the same thing just opposite just up and down so now I'm gonna show you guys again just from the inside where I'm placing my hands all right so from the inside I put both legs in one two and then I'm gonna grab the steering wheel I'm gonna push up with my left, pull in with my right. So one, two, three, up and in. And then I grab the oh shit handle. And then I just pull myself in like that. All right, so getting out, I transfer to the side of here and I grab with my right hand, go down with my left and I just push up and then in. Very, very simple. Um, I definitely think the more you guys do it, the easier it will feel and the easier it will get. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. This was a very highly requested video over on my Instagram. So I hope I answered some of your questions on how I transfer to different surfaces inside of my home. I threw in a little car transfer because I feel like that was also very important. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me understand what you guys like and also comment below on other videos you guys want me to do. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.